the truth and the power combined. On to the dump truck we go. That's <laughs> yeah. We agree. On, we agree on these catchphrases in the Monday meeting, and I don't. You know, I was a little iffy on this one, but you guys were like, "That's definitely the one." And I'm like, oh. yeah, we spend a good thirty minutes each each Monday dedicated to the dump truck. Yeah, the intro intros phrase. of these shows, making yep. sure that the right amount of work goes yeah. into them. <laughs> Welcome to the voicemail dump truck. It's GiantBomb.com's podcast for you as opposed to all the other ones that are just self-indulgent for us. Yep. Uh, this is where you get to get involved by calling us at 707 exit flu. Uh, and I, my feed of you guys is chopping up and I'm going to check on something over here to make sure that I'm not like backing up files in the background, uh, or something Jen insane like that. The number on the screen. Yes. The numbers it's on the stats. screen. Don't call and it right now. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, you can call it right now, and you could, but you we're could. not going to answer. Mm. It's crazy the, because uh... you've added four more letters to the the thing. You've the... somehow made it more confusing. Well, like the VMDT, right? That's like supposed to be like, oh, you know, that's what I'm calling oh. into. Oh, right, right. Yeah. yeah, that's like the inner mm. label, right? Seven oh seven VMDT exit, this... baby. I feel like this is a backwards hamburger. You've got like a real like burger bun burger. <laughs> it's a it's design. a protein style we got going okay. on, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it. I missed. <laughs> is this the uh no that's what I call music uh font? Actually, that Ooh. is what this title is called in Vmix. Now yeah. this now that's what I call Vmix. Yep. Great. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Oh Whoa. there it goes. Oh, Let's it's back. Oh, oh, oh hey. Ah. Oh, call now. Operators are standing by. Uh, yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> this just turned into an adult swim show. It's like our pre-taped um, call-in show. Uh, call, call in now. So if I could indulge uh, for just a few moments. Let's hear it. Uh, like you've got a lot going on. Indulge we away. It's, it's your birthday. We have to indulge one. the birthday boy. Happy birthday. Yes. Thank you very much. I, I hope you got a that. cake that I like. Yes, um, and not cake. some horse shit. So I was told not to come downstairs for the next hour while the cake is being made, and well, I don't trust oh, any whoa. of that shit. I'm just saying, look, I love my wife to death. She can't cook. She can't cook. She knows it. She goes around telling people this. It's not a secret. Okay. Uh, so we're all just rolling the dice with how the rest of the day is going to go. If you've been following along, um, the birthday I had cake saga. The saga. This is well. This is less cake saga and more cake day saga. Uh, I had jury duty this morning, and uh, that was something. Um, you so they're doing like a virtual selection, right? So mm -hmm. uh, I get you know it was a Zoom, so I'm on you know, and they're like they're like don't wear a hat. I'm like what? Don't don't wear anything on your clothes. Like don't wear crazy clothing. Don't wear Show anything up naked. distracting. Well, uh, they're like, uh, you know, make sure your eyes are. Don't leave your camera. The the like, don't look away that much. Don't be distracted. Don't eat. All these things. And I'm or just like, what? Damn, they're really. I don't know. Like, I, like, what are you, you in virtual contempt? Like, what happens yeah, if you I'm... like look? <laughs> anyway, I get it. I think they're just trying to like. Put out some real broad rules to filter out all the wackadoos, okay. you know. Well, plus, like you know, like if you showed up wearing shirts that had stuff on them and hats, that would color a a their perception of you as a yes. fit juror or something. If you yes. were like, I'm gonna wear my most uh, here, I'm just gonna put on my white hood here, and then let's go down down to the jury duty. <laughs> no, I'm totally unbiased. So <laughs> dismissed. Oh, weird. Um, <laughs> they so I had to answer all these questions, which there were 44 of. Oh. Right before That's a lot. where you're just like ticking boxes and filling and I didn't answer. I answered maybe like 10 of them because I thought a lot of them were too intrusive. Well, that's why one they didn't asked, pick you. Well, mm. maybe one of them asked. Um, they were like, yo, uh, if aside from any political affiliation, what do the bumper stickers on your car say? <laughs> What the fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> so you, you, you type in "How's my driving?" Call one eight hundred eat shit. There you go. Like I, it's just like uh, what? my other car is this dick. Uh, 
I couldn't I couldn't believe it. I, I so I left that one blank. Uh, I don't have any of that shit, but like I just couldn't believe anyway, so I get in there and I'm slotted in and it's a zoom with like sixty six it's not like getting into a zoom with sixty six perfect <laughs> ass strangers where everyone's just like in their kitchen. It was supremely awkward. Um so I get in there and then uh they they slot me into like a separate zoom and there's a clerk and she's like, How you doing? I'm like, uh, I'm all right. She's like Look, I'm just gonna ask you one question. She goes, "Is there anything uh, that would prevent you from uh, any traveling you're planning on doing in the next week, uh, or any sort of like exceptions that you would like to call out I'm for getting, this?" Uh... I'm getting a hiss, by the way, Jan. Oh, I'll. That's me. Yeah, a little, a little, hiss, Your little hiss. hiss. I can hear the hiss. Somebody running some water nearby. Sorry to interrupt. <gasps> this is a nice waterfall. <laughs> yeah, that was some white noise just to set the mood. Yeah. Uh, I go in <laughs> and she says, "Go ahead." She's like, is there anything going on where, like, you need to let the court know just, like, you have an exception? And I was just like, hey, today's my 40th birthday. She's like, oh, my God. Happy birthday. You're dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? A birthday huh? miracle. Hey. Huh? What? Huh? huh? Yay. Yay. Supposed to oh. loop. Supposed to now loop. trapped. Supposed to loop. <laughs> there we go. Whoa. Yay. And I was just like. I almost like couldn't believe it. I'm like, you mean I'm done here? And she's like, yeah. She's like, I'll give you credit. You're cool. You're done. I was like, all right. Where can I send you like a gift basket? Like what? How do? Uh, <laughs> yeah. How like, was that? Hey, thanks. It's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Damn. So that's my story. It's my little journey. I feel, story. I feel like easy. that's the only. I feel like that's the only time that it's ever worked for anybody. <laughs> it's I my mean, birthday. It's, oh, you know, I boy. like I would assume she's got my file in front of her, right? Doesn't it say yeah. like DOB, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they she might, might not. I mean, she it might, might not, yeah. I guess. She might just have I'm a number. Just a serial number, right? I'm probably yeah. just like a number. It's like number 12. Eh. Yeah. He, uh, like, he's... You, look, you look sad in 40. You're, you're dismissed. <laughs> oh, but nice. tell me about those bumper stickers. So weird, right? Maybe, Calvin pissing on Calvin pissing. Whoa, a that's a custom job. Yeah. Well, like, so there's, so I did get a bunch of information about the trial, which obviously I'm not going to talk about, but um, they like, there was like a list of, I'm not joking, like 47 people. And they're like, you know, any of these people? <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird. It's the whole thing, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Huh. Was yeah. it a murder? I mean, it was, if they're saying a week, then I'm guessing it wasn't actually like a heinous no, crime. It was, three weeks they were putting out for it oh okay. well, all right mm. it, it was um i don't know i actually couldn't suss out the nature of the of the crime but it was definitely criminal court and it was definitely like someone like a uh, yeah i'm not gonna get too much of it, but it, it, it seemed like pretty intense um i don't it wasn't grand jury shit which i hear is like impossible to get out of mm. um but uh maybe yeah, i don't know the victim was killed on their birthday, and they thought you would be biased as a birthday Which, boy as yourself. Not yeah. yay. That's a bad confetti. Just bad bad confetti. confetti. Can, we, can uh, we make this? Can you lay like a black and white filter over the confetti? This oh, is the, man. No. This depressed is a bad confetti. One. This is bad. This like is that. Oh, This is oh, sad oh, confetti. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. De the kids are starving. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh, it was pretty great. Um, one other thing, we were in the big pool and wow. um wow. They uh well, they had a pool party for like, your birthday? Wow. Yeah, yeah. In the pool in the Zoom pool, and like I said, there's sixty perfect strangers and um like ever like half of them had blurred backgrounds. And mm. um the, the clerk or whoever was running it was like everyone ju I you just we cannot have blurred backgrounds and you just saw like 25 people sort of just like hit that button and sort of just be embarrassed by everything that was behind them <laughs> <laughs> like I said could that be a more awkward uh fucking just a whole little situation wow. people in the chat are like why i go because they don't want any because they don't want they want to eliminate the chance of like another person watching and they want to just make sure that you know you're you're presenting yourself as you are and not hiding anything i guess 
But my drug yeah. lab is back here. Yeah. Oh, I'm in a McDonald's in right part. now. <laughs> yeah. The blurry part. Motel where 6 all the guns room are. I'm in with all these Man. fancy screws. It uh yeah, it's it's eh, anyway. That's action packed. That? The last uh, yeah, I mean the last time I reported for jury duty, I've said it before, I accidentally wore my Resident Evil 2 <laughs> Raccoon <laughs> Police Department shirt. <laughs> And when they saw the RPD, I mean, I, I was, wasn't thinking. It was just like, it was just like, pick up a shirt, go yeah. fucking sit in this courtroom. And when the judge had me stand up, saw that I was wearing a thing that had a badge on it and said RPD on the back. He's like, well, why didn't you identify yourself as a peace officer? I was like, oh, <laughs> no, I, mm, I got dismissed anyway, but it was just like. You're like, well, oh. there's the Umbrella Corporation. Officer. Yeah. <laughs> Are Yay. you a zombie? Yay, Yay zombies. Yay. This is great. How, I, so the thing I learned there is like, you just dress up like a cop and hope for the best. Mm. And if, if they ask you, don't lie. Yeah. You know, you're just like, what? Oh, what? Oh, oh this old thing? <laughs> oh, well. Um, yeah, I don't I know. I just love cops. Quick That's production right. question. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, n I'm now realizing that people who only listen to the audio of this will not be able to hear, I, I guess, see the confetti. What is like the, the audio? Either. What is yeah. like the audio form of confetti? Oh, or just like Lord. just okay. Come Lord, yeah. It's oh, it's that oh, or just I like sell water to a well. It's, mm. it's probably just also like very generous uh, late night applause. Okay. Yeah. You know okay. What I mean? There we go. I'm gonna time out the confetti with the applause. Or like okay. I'll, I'll get some applause for the board, and you know, then I can when I see the confetti. <laughs> or like I'll that crappy like. Da -da, trumpet thing. Okay. Oh, Tada dot wave. Ta -da. That's Just probably in a directory yeah, somewhere, like, right? Like Tada I mean, dot wave. Yeah. Okay. Speaking okay. of Windows, does that, does that sounds... still come with Windows? Does that still come with Windows? I was just gonna say Windows 11's like all Windows 11 shit is way easier on the ears. Like it's not, yeah. It's just subtle and the USB chill. noises, everything about uh, it is just like a boom. It's just real soft it's edges like, on all of it. It's yeah, everything's yeah. real rounded out. You know, Windows yeah. 11 is just like, hey, I'm not trying to fuck with you. I'm not trying to fuck with your day. Plug that shit in. I'm not gonna yeah, be intrusive. It's fine, man. It's cool. I will lay say, down. Lay down. In increasingly, my favorite Windows 11 feature is that it is finally better about like a monitor being turned on or off. Hmm. Yeah. And it doesn't like make all the apps on one monitor jump over to the other one right away and all this other stuff. Like it's it's much cooler about like, hey man, yeah, we understand you updated your video drivers. We're not gonna take okay. every window on your desktop and throw it in the corner and make it all weird. And I'm like, <laughs> thank you, like, Windows eleven. I love that like this. that used to be part of the driver upgrade uh installation was like you wanted every icon on the desktop on top of each other right like you wanted right. 48 yes. icons layered on top of each other like, yeah of course of like, course want, i did you know? yes of course Definitely. it's the only way yes. oh man yeah windows 11 is nice let's get into some uh what do we got 707 exit flu uh that's the number that's the phone number uh mm. that you can call and we've got a a list oh yes yeah there it is oh shit Roll it in. Look at him go! Watch out, Jeff! Hey, buddy. Voice me old dump trick. Oh! Oh, bring it back. Oh, now Up he's bringing it back. It back. Oh, oh, beautiful. Now we're that talking, to Jan, that is some beautiful, like, Voice Price is Right shit right there. Dude, I fucking love it. I fucking love the shit out of that. If you're listening that. to Thank the you. podcast, you're missing out on some I don't know treats. how to convey that to the folks at home. Well, I can hear. I can hear. Yeah, okay. Yep. There it is. Ooh, we got some... What is that? What is that? Pink and... We got some salmon confetti? Yeah, salmon oh, confetti. The fancy like stuff. That. Love it. Wow. Ooh, breaking it out. Special occasions. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. World of Warcraft this, Christmas edition. That's it. That Christmas tree kills me every time I see it. Jesus. It's I, so I, I, I want to put it on a t-shirt. I, I just... Put that I mean, on a mug. <laughs> we should put that on a mug. Put that on the mug. I'll yeah. hit up the VMix people. It's like, hey, we use yeah. your stuff all the time. Holler. Let's just make a. <laughs> let's just make our own. We can just make our own royalty-free Christmas tree that we own. There we go. Yeah, just that's your next task. Get on this. I'm on it. Yeah. All right. We need. We need our own distinct Christmas tree. Um, I gave y'all uh, the full list. Like, there's too many voicemails this week. 
that uh, they can't all be displayed currently on the screen. Um, but mm -hmm. Mr. Gersman, I'm going okay, to ask yeah. you to pick the first one. It should be in the Slack uh, if you got that up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, one kilohertz test. No, wait. Uh, it's not on there this week. <laughs> man. I, know it's I your can't fave. believe they didn't call. I can't believe they didn't call this week. Um, why don't we go with wholeexpert.mp3? Mm -mm. Ah, whole expert. We got to, you know, good there's a good choice, sir. <laughs> I, I think we tell people each episode to please keep your voicemail to like a minute 30 max. Yeah, we've tried mm -hmm. that. Yeah. This week, for some reason, so many people have called in like upwards to two, three minutes and I hope they're okay. I tried listening to all of them this week. There were 800 voicemails as opposed to the normal 500. What? Um, so I didn't get to listen to everything this week, so I'm sorry. Here is Whole Expert. What's up, Dumpers? Uh, this is your resident Whole Expert, David from Roanoke. Uh, really? You guys were talking about bowling on the most recent dump truck and uh, got to dump a little bit of knowledge on you guys. Fun fact, there is no, uh, there's no legislation out there that dictates how many holes need to be in a bowling ball. So professional bowlers could have two holes in their ball reserved for, like, their middle finger and their ring finger. Some people have the traditional three holes. Some people don't have any holes in their balls, you know. Uh, I thought that was cool. Um, but the rule is if there is a hole in your ball, a finger has to be in it in order for it to be considered tournament legal. Oh. All right. Thanks, Dumpers. Bye. Thank wow. you. That answers, that answers my follow-up question, which was, yeah. can I have a ball that's just many, many, just dimpled with holes? The answer just like is like a no. big old golf ball. I feel like yeah, that would be all the way in. illegal yeah. to have like a dimpled bowling ball, because then you'd yeah. be hugging the lane it, in it a weird way. It wouldn't roll well. It would roll very poorly. Yeah. yeah. be clacking down the aisle. But that oh, that, might, you know, th there might be some you can, some benefits to that if you were, you know, because then, the, well, like if you're, because if you're clacking and maybe bouncing a little bit, the oil on the lane maybe doesn't matter as much and you can kind of bypass oh. some of that and get kind of a straighter. No, you want the oil. The oil's good. Like you want to well, use Well, if you're good oil. at bowling, you want the oil. If you're not, yeah. then I, fucking, I don't know, man. <laughs> no, but like but, you do not want to bowl on a poorly oiled bowling alley lane. Like what if, feel, it, yeah, with the dimples, you wind up skidding along? You catch like a flat side of a dimple where like the ball is sitting upright, and then just slides, and it opens up you're a whole new meta. You're yeah. implying the ball will somehow stop on a dimple and like Tokyo drift all the way to the pins. Yes. Yeah. What if you put all yeah, your no, holes cool. on that'd one cool. section, and so you just like basically like fist the ball, and then you know you throw it in such a way that it lands hole down. Mm -hmm. And then just skids on the hole. Uh, is there is so there a, like a legislation? Is there a legislation depicting how big the, the holes have to be? Because you have to have a finger mm. in each of these holes. But yeah. can Good the holes question. be like you know spread out, big? You know, no. and, you just, and then you have like a big like dimple on the side of the bowling ball to do what with i don't know i just want to know the limits of these things if, if you I got those a, big like, old you know sausage fingers right uh-huh like yeah as long as like the caller just said as long as your fingers can fit that hole i want to say that's that's street legal you know if i'm putting like no, just I mean like like three goatsies on my bowling ball no yeah no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah yeah no, yeah no. because you it doesn't say your the finger has to fit finger. Yeah. All right, oh, Mr. No. Bacalar, you yeah. choose the yeah. next voicemail, Sorry. please. Okay. Thank you. Please send <laughs> more you, bowling caller. stuff in. I forgot how much bowling can oh, be real an quick. interesting and weird. Uh, sport. Mr. Gerson, much of a bowling guy? You know, no. I like bowling, um, but I don't do it as often. Probably, I don't do it as often as I would like. I guess I would say. Okay. It's oh, fun. Okay, that's a, I feel it's that's a rare answer. Bowling is fun. Bowling I enjoy is fun. Drinking and I actually yeah, I can't not. drink when I bowl because then I bowl much worse. It's the only thing I do a lot worse when I'm drunk. And I find that if like I bowl too much in one go as a result of like, you know, um, I don't know, typing for a living, 
um oh. if i do a lot of bowling i eventually like my arm hurts for like a week afterwards or something oh, like i have thrown I, you know like i have i have hurt injured it in some dumb way bowling and drinking Got exacerbates it. that because my motions just get wilder and dumber uh okay. in a way that is probably not great i should probably use lighter balls is probably the actual answer get wild. Go to. what's your go-to weight I don't know. I, I feel it out every time I go because I, I don't. I never remember, so it's always just like pick up a ball and go. Like a, I could, I would probably go with a heavier ball now. I haven't bowled in years, but like now I have years of like carrying children around, which is oh. you know, admittedly not lifting weights, but my arms are certainly stronger than they were before I was doing all that. There's resistance to lifting a child. They get all wiggly sometimes. Yeah. 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 Yes, they do. And if you and drop unruly. them, like yeah. dropping a bowling ball is funny. Dropping a child is potentially criminal. <laughs> yes. You got the Certainly. dill strength now. Yeah. Whoa. Good. Mr. Backler. <laughs> okay. The impossible transition. Um I'm I'm gonna get selfish today. It's my birthday, right? Backing up Bacalar. Let's hear it. All right, backing up Bacalar. Hey yo. This is Stan from Toronto. And I wanna introduce a new little segment called Backing Up Bacalar. Where I back up Bacalar. <laughs> oh, not because back he said up on back. Week, okay. And it really resonated with me. He said, Baseball is the most boring sport ever, and it is. I don't know why people watch this. I've tried. People are trying to get me into it. I can't do it. People say, well, go to the game. It's, it's better. You can have a few beers. I can have a bunch of beers, and it doesn't make it any better. I can have the same beer sitting in a bar staring at the wall, and it's more entertaining than going there. I'm sorry. It just is. I don't understand the appeal. Thank you. Oh, all right. I didn't realize this was just like a shit on baseball call. I'm going to say. I like baseball I, oh. more than uh, other sports, but. Yeah. Yeah. Me, me too. Sorry, I, 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 I was going to say exactly that and and then go one step further and say, I think uh, motor sports, generally speaking, are mm. more boring sure. than baseball. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Unless you're watching the entire thing through yes, like you, the driver's helmet. Totally. Yes. Like, and you could argue that like, I'm sure there's a nuance to that, that if I watched a lot of motor sports, then maybe I would yeah. uh, care more about it. But it sure looks like a bunch of people not passing and then being very careful when they pass so as to not wreck their cars, to which I say, F that. Do you yeah, want to win I or mean, not? <laughs> you know, I, like racing is, I, I, I'm with you. Like, I just don't find it ex terribly yeah. exciting. I like, I appreciate all sports and I appreciate athleticism. I appreciate talent. I appreciate passion, all these things, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but like some things in, are just, you know, kind of empirically boring. Um, I like I I know I'm in the minority when I say uh, American football is like the most painfully awful shit on earth, but like and I and I put baseball in a higher regard than I do that. Oh, um, I'm with definitely. you. Definitely. Here's the thing with baseball. This is my dirty little secret. Here's okay. my. You want to hear my dirty little secret? You were oh, yeah. captain of, a, I can, I can of your peewee foot uh, baseball team. No. Well, I was very good at baseball growing up. And I hadn't, I hadn't really like committed to hockey in a big way. And I just, I was good and I hate, and I just didn't like it. And it was like mm. this very upsetting, it's more Same. like I'm upsetting my father. More oh than yeah, me too. Else, who was just like the diehard Mets fan baseball guy who was just like, oh wow, you can, you're actually not terrible at baseball. I need to nurture this and make you play more so I can live through you. And I was just like. Hockey seems a lot cooler, Dad. I'm sorry. Uh, I had a similar then, uh, experience. We haven't spoken since. So. Oh, <laughs> oh, unfortunate. Uh, I had a similar experience where uh, I was super jazzed to join the baseball team in elementary school, but because yeah. we were so young, my parents, God bless them, they they went the whole nine yards was buying me the gear and stuff. And then uh, first practice, I learned that it's t-ball and not actual baseball. Yeah, I'm like, screw this! I want someone to throw a ball at me, and I actually want to hit it. How I want to pitch you? the ball. This is like maybe second, third grade. Afterwards, oh, that's I surprising because yeah. like they're doing they're doing the pitch for my kid now, and he's in first. I, was, I had to go through. Weird. Yeah, I had to yeah. go through t-ball, and then what they called coach pitch, where yeah, the coach exactly. of your team mm. pitched the ball. And then at some point it became real baseball. And then I got in a fight with the coach's son and did not play any more baseball. Oh, wow. Shadow. Oh, what path, could have man. been? 
What, yeah. what was the fight about? Uh, he was a dick. Good reason. He was the coach's son. <laughs> Enough for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I pushed Nepotism. him up against the wall in the dugout, and then uh, and then that coach would go on to be my PE teacher a few years later, and that was fun. Vengeance. <laughs> I, I got to say, like, uh, this is a very deep cut and very specific thing, but, mm -hmm. you know, anyone who's a parent is probably a, a parent of a child who is, like, you know, sports interested, right? Um, it's, like, a comp incredibly awful, like, toxic, terrible minefield of garbage, right? Like, it's just the worst people who are just like, I don't want to coach, I just want to come and scream at you and that kind of thing. We, uh, My kid did this whole ice hockey clinic that the devil sponsor and it you know it's this whole awesome thing that the nhl puts on and they they teach kids how to play hockey and at the end of it the guy running it is like you got to ask your kids if they want to do this you got to ask <laughs> them like do they want to play if they want to play that's great and just know that if i'm involved in their thing we are not going to take this too seriously because nothing's worth and i was just like this guy rules this guy goes against all the other stereotypes you hear about where people are just at each other's throats, like screaming at each other, getting kicked out of games and all that stuff. Anyway, it gives me a little bit of hope for uh, for whatever is there next year. You know? Jess, give us a little hope with your next, or your first voicemail pick of the week. My first, my first voicemail um, of the week. Uh, for continuity's sake, I'm gonna go with an apology follow-up. Wow. Some good continuity. Uh, people can't see that. It's a little off screen, but here it is. Hey, Dumpers. This is Nathan from Texas. First, I want to say, Jess, thank you for your apology. I understood where you're coming from. It's all good. I still think you're great. Uh, I can understand why you would lash out because you're a Silent Hill fan, just as I am. And we haven't had a good game since Silent Hill 2, in my opinion. And we're we were even teased with a potentially good game in PT or Silent Hills, as it were. And it was ripped out from underneath us due to political bullshit between some companies and some people. And we'll never get to see that beautiful, beautiful game. That is actually my biggest disappointment in gaming. What are some things that you guys are dis disappointed about or were disappointed about in your life? Doesn't even have to be about games. Uh, sometimes you just get disappointed. All right. I hope you all are well. Bye. Myself. Oh, oh thank you, Nathan. You're cool. I'm cool. We're cool. Thanks for being cool. Uh, but yeah, we've been through some shit, haven't we? <laughs> so Silent Hill fans. <laughs> yeah, PT was like Got everything now. Probably the 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 worst gaming disappointment yeah, for me. That, that hurt. hurt a lot. Um, uh, yeah, that's like the big the big big one. Yeah, is PT being canceled for stupid reasons you know after after everybody was super hyped about it like nobody didn't want this thing you know mm. konami are goddamn maniacs to <laughs> to cancel that but whatever i probably waited in a very long line for food pre-pandemic <laughs> and then i was because like a friend hyped it up and then you know we sat down ate it disappointed i think i waited two hours Food? Mm. Yeah. Dog. Uh, I I eat too much. Two I eat too much. Okay. Okay. Was it good use of my time? No. I I think seeing the Matrix a second and third matrixes in the theater was like real bad. Um I was also pretty disappointed with Bioshock Infinite if we're just trying to do a video game. Mm -hmm. Really that just really uh crashed and burned for me. Strider for the Genesis when that came Ooh. out, eighty dollars and finished it wow. in like an hour and a half and wow. uh, yeah, that was uh, that was eighty dollars. Yeah, when it was, was a cartridge. Was the cartridge was this was eighty. Well, 90, when was this? Like ninety, ninety one, something like that, eighty nine. And you still carry um, it that 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 with you all these years. There's a lot of money, you, yeah. you know, that $80 like is a money. lot now. That's uh, 90s but, money too. That's yeah, like and I was, dollars now, right? And yeah. I was 15 or, you know, I couldn't even drive a car. So like getting suck. a hold of that money was, uh, yeah. was a hassle. That's, yeah, that's probably the biggest one, uh, gaming wise. <laughs> Kane and Lynch is up there. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, well, 
because it's the developers of Freedom Fighters making a game that is taking its cues from the movie Heat. And you're like, well, there's no way this can fucking miss. And you're like, oh, actually, they fucking fucked up everything that was good about Freedom Fighters. And these characters are written like idiots. It's terrible. But, you know. Damn. Uh, I offered up a pick to the audience, but we'll get to that after mine. And I pick POS family members. Dude, what are you doing? Uh, well, this is like a, a positive. Air them out. Let's go. It's a po- It's a positive spin on it. Uh, shouts out to <laughs> my to my Kaba My family listens. It's fine. <laughs> hey, dumpers! It's Cesar from the Philippines. What's up, dog? First of all, Jan, saludo sa yo. Talking about Razor Ramon reminded me of my dead bad uncle. In the 90s, I think, uh, he once fed me shopao or steamed bun. It was big, cheap, and he told me it has cat meat, and I bought cat two meat. more. And one time, oh. he made me eat soup number five and Asusena. Both oh. was meh. Uh, what are the, oh, yeah. When I was a teenager, he said to me, at least experience everything once. Before giving me beer, mentals, and the rent me just porn. I miss you, Uncle Boboy. Uh, do you guys have stories of friends or family members that are pieces of shit, but their heart is in the right place? Uh, that's it. Oof. Salama, Caesar. Ple- Thank you, caller. I, uh, I uh, plead the fifth on this one, I feel like. <laughs> uh, I it's... Wa- like, I, yeah. It's funny because he he thanked his uncle Bull Boy, which is like a common Filipino nickname. She has a Filipi, uh, Filipino uncle Bull Boy. I have one. It's a weird nickname. I don't uh, quite understand it. Uh, but also my my uncle Bull Boy was a uh, a similar person. Got Tons it. of cool bad un- Filipino uncles in the world. I don't have but any like cool uh, me- uncles, because like all my uncles are cops, so like whatever. You know? Aunties? All of them? They're oh, all cops? uncles. Most, some of them, yeah, like half of them. I don't know. Huh. But, uh... Um, I, explain, I just explain really, like... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, like, uh, I think I'm like... I don't, I don't have any fun, rowdy family members quite like that, I, I think. That are like... I don't know. Did I, like, mishear the caller? Everyone's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had another uncle that, I guess this is like the cool scumbag part. He, without asking me, took my PS1 and said, Jerome, I'm going to fix this. And then I was like, it's not broken though. And then he proceeded to mod it. And then he gave me like a printed out list of like, you can get any of these games, young nephew, pick one and I'll burn a disc. And I was like. Whoa, you did fix it. This is sick. <laughs> what do you pick one? <laughs> like, what, what's a dick? <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. You did fix it. <laughs> the first time I, I, I understood what copy protection was on games was because my dad knew a guy who modded our PS1. And then, like, it just newer games came out and they figured out how to get around that specific mod. And I popped in Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage on Whoa. Christmas Day. And there was a big blue screen that said like whatever it said like you you mess with your playstation and you're screwed we're calling the cop that. we're calling your that uncles. was very disappointing yeah. <laughs> that was a very it was only it was, it was, it was only a real handful small handful of games that had that and it was spyro and crash i think were were on that list it was like a lot of first party sony stuff used either i think it's called libcrypt uh, mm. i actually this is a fucking long time ago, but I, I moderated a panel between the person who developed that copy protection and um, the guy who wrote that book about hacking the Xbox. I think, well, not Dean Takahashi, the uh, bunny, the other guy. And it's like this big, long conversation about like where hacking was coming from at that time. And the general story for them was like, uh, it's organized crime in Russia that a lot mm-hmm. of it is, that'll, that is the big the the big problem or, or the people behind like hacking and, and the people behind hacker groups that are trying to you know get ps1 games out ahead of street date and bribing people to steal discs off the line and and all this other stuff so all those security measures were only in place they were hoping to just like delay it for like a couple of weeks give them long enough to layer it'll get like some decent sales on its own before it just shows up on the internet 
uh, and and with that libcrypt stuff, that was enough for them to like realize the sales they were hoping to realize before mm -hmm. someone finally hacked around that and got it working. It's like that whole mod chip scene is what <laughs> was was. It's probably a little less crazy now, but but was super insane. I've learned a lot today. I've learned right? about soup number five. I'm actually not sure what soup number five is. Uh, it's like Mambo number five. Oh shit. That's a good uncle. Uh, that it's a bunch of ladies chopped up and put into a soup. No. Well, not <laughs> where a little I, bit of Monica in my soup. Oh no. Uh, a the bit of in my the soup. audience chose birds. Mp3. Okay. Good morning. It's Doctor M to the J. Are birds real? All right, Mr. Gersman, your time to pick a voicemail. That's it. He's what? just doing that thing, right? Yeah, he's, he's just asking. He had a just question. Like, he's just asking the questions. Just asking the questions. But, like, you, everyone knows that thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, no? I mean, you guys uh, don't know? You know you've heard of the guy who started Our Birds Real. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Birds are yeah, not real. That guy. That yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm assuming that's what that is. Are there right? more birds or more yeah. wheels in the world? I don't know. Yeah, is a bird is a sandwich. The questions we we should be asking. Is a bird, is a, is a bird, is a bird a hot dog. sandwich? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've eaten. Uh, I can get. I, there's a place uh, called Bird Dogs, mm. close to yeah that that I've seen in the area that I believe sells hot dogs made out of birds. That's that doesn't sound bad. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Gerson I mean, depends on the kind of bird. I don't know if it's like a like here's like some we Penguin. caught some sparrows. Um, I'm. Please go ahead. Hmm. go ahead. Is it weird that I feel like like I want to choose the longer ones to get the most value? No, out of my, no, 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 like, no. I don't, I don't know. But it's your choice. But at the same time, I need to know about a dollar sign, dollar sign. Yes, sure. Okay. We all do. Hey, this is Dan from Chicago, and I just want to know why do we call things we don't like ass? Ass is one of the greatest resources we have on this planet. We went to the moon because of ass. That's true. Did we? <laughs> the Wait. English language is a versatile one. Uh, and, you know, we live in a society where something can be shit or the shit, and they mean completely different things. We can say fuck this, and we can say this fucks, and that means to two totally different things. Yeah. So I think things can be ass, but then also things can be badass it's true there you go true. uh i like that one big sean song where they just say ass 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 yeah, ass, so ass, good. ass 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 so it's like the only good thing he's ever done i i like a, a baby's handful of big sean songs and that's on that list <laughs> <laughs> mr mm. bacalar your turn to pick a voicemail sir okay okay still stuck on the ass thing um <laughs> It's just a lot of like you put it on my ass, 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 ass. It's it's great. He says, yeah. "Roll my weed on it." That's an ass tray. Uh -huh. No, <laughs> no, no, no. He's a poet. Ass Shit. Um, let's do. Let, you should just write that down. Yeah. Let's do. Um. Man. Dot MP3. Man. Man, what the fuck? Yeah, thank you, caller. Right. Uh, Jess, yeah, I sent you, you a link on Slack. Uh huh. I just want you to read uh, the second stanza of lyrics here. Uh, like the first three <laughs> lines. The one that starts wobble D. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wobble dee, wobble dee, wa wobble wobble. I'm st stacking my paper. My my wallet looked like a Bible. I got girlies half naked. That shit looked like the grotto. How your waist anorexic, then your ass is colossal. Thank you, Jessica. And now please pick a voicemail. You can't. Can you rhyme grotto with colossal? He just did, man. If you try hard yeah. enough. If you try. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It works. If you want it did. bad enough. And, yeah. Um. Let's cry. Uh, no, pick a pick a voicemail. Jesus. We can do this after. Real. <laughs> yeah. Have I ever told the show? Just let it out. Have I ever told the story? I, wish I could cry. My last job, uh, I had a motivational speaker as my boss, 
and we had a team oh. of four. Uh, he also has a CD. Uh, yes, the CD. Yes. 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 Um, and uh, he would make us have these every single day. He would have us uh, 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 have like a, a group meeting just to talk about what we did before. And then one day he wasn't there, and he calls me. It's like Jan, like buddy, you need to lead the meeting. And then I'm thinking, there's only three of us. Like, why do we need to do this? Why do we need to do this in general? So I led the meetings, me and my two other teammates. And then I, I get to one homegirl, and I ask her, like, yo, what'd you do last night? Are you okay? And she was like, oh, you know, the usual. I drank a whole bottle of wine, cried for an hour. Good. Whoa. Good. <laughs> anyway, let's cry. Oh. Jan. Yeah, hi, it's fine. Alice in Los Angeles with the 4 a.m. girls. Just calling to ask, what's the best song to cry to? Oh, um, mm. It's by Elton John. An Elton John song? Yeah, dude, he's got a lot of sad songs. No. He's got a song called Sad Songs. You're not going to cry to it. This yeah, is the guy I think... Crocodile Rock. He's not capable of making a person cry. I just think Sad Songs... Sad Songs is not an inherently sad song, but I do get the feels thinking about some of his slower, like, for whatever reason, yeah. I think I could cry. I, if if I have to cry to an Elton John song, I will find the right one to cry okay. to. Okay. Okay. That was yeah. not the question, but that's a um... threat. <laughs> um, that's a threat. I, I guess this is open to interpretation, and I think I talked about Fetty Wap on the Bombcast, um, oh. and then I I cried recently at a Fetty Wap song, uh, <laughs> where I think um, my partner and I were celebrating our anniversary, and then like in the car, the the lyric came up of. Uh, I, I want to finish this who I started with. I want to spend it all who I got it with. And then I was looking at her. I'm like, damn, if we were running a trap house, you'd be the trap queen, baby. Wow, that's Aww. so romantic, Jan. <laughs> yeah. Remy, oh, boys! Sweet, Jan. <laughs> Very sweet, Jan. <laughs> so my, my answer is actual songs that make me cry every time. Um, that song from fucking Toy Story 2... When somebody loved me, everything was beautiful. It's so fucking sad. Uh, and that really stupid song, uh, Last Kiss, that's like, Oh, where, oh, where can my baby be? The love really? took that her one? away from me. Because it's about like a car crash and like Is this lady dies. Yes, oh, it's, a whole, it's a story. Oh, it's just a Damn. story. Oh, fuck. <laughs> It's just a story about this this guy and his wife getting into a car crash, yes, and he wakes okay. up, and it's like she's dying, and we 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 shared our last kiss, and now she's oh, gone. Shit. Even though I hold her tight, I lost my love, my life that night. Ooh. Jesus, Jeff, <laughs> any that songs that make you cry? Good songs, know, uh, good crying Dave songs. Dave Lang made the DJ play Trap Queen at my wedding. Oh, mm. that went well. Uh, that did go well. <laughs> uh, no, there was a song. I don't know what it was anymore, and I wish I could find it. There are actually there are two songs. Um, there was one. Uh, it was a song about a magic toothbrush that was on some record. And when I was a little kid, my relatives, Ooh. my I had a, I had a, an aunt and uncle that were about the same age as I would, and to to taunt me, like whenever the song would come on, I would just start crying. Oh, don't know oh why. Oh. No idea. Um, and so they would just put it on and laugh. Uh, <laughs> those are oh my piece of God. shit family members that are yeah cool. i guess now that you mention it what yeah, the fuck? Um, God, and no. so the, so yeah the, and, and the other song that would do that to me is uh it's nadia's theme oh. from like what a like 70s 80s whatever it was like yeah. the the ice skating you know like yeah as a child people would like and again like i would hear from like oh yeah we would put it on all the time and make you cry and it was hilarious I'm like, what? What? Fuck, what? Fuck off! What? That is why. You did what? Um, That's yeah, and up. and I've like I've heard that song since, and don't even remember that <sighs> like happening or or anything. So I don't I don't know. But was the yeah. toothbrush song particularly cacophonous? It was some kind of magic toothbrush. Some kind of I I don't know. I I don't know. Okay. All right. All right. Um. <laughs> Claire de Lune sometimes gets me like emotional, but not like a oh, sad Claire emotional. Lune. Okay. Like uh, like a a happy cry. Oh, okay. It's, it's sweet. It's a sweet song. Yeah, for sure. 
Um, there's a lot of beef uh, brewing on the voicemail dump truck. Uh, there's Birmingham beef, Melbourne beef. Uh, but oddly enough, someone wants to start beef with Hawaii Joe. Damn. What? You know who I've got beef with? Mm. Beef I love this with caller. Hawaii Joe. He's just he's so happy. He's charismatic. He's got a good voice. Interesting stuff to talk about, and that I don't think I actually have beef with Hawaii Joe. I think I've got beef with the fact that he's not my friend. I think you've got a little crush there, caller. Damn, Whoa. son, where'd you find this? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, and then, uh, since Jason is not here today, I Solicited another choice from chat, and then I see that they picked Delaware beef. Hey, this is the beef hotline. I'm calling because I got some hot beef. I got beef against the entire state of Delaware. Fuck that place, man. That's all. Thank you, Thank caller. You, caller. I, I, I just don't understand why. Like, how can you open up the door to spill? Like Delaware, what did Delaware do? Like leave Delaware. Letting all these really corporations small. get registered for cheap. Yeah, I mean, it's a tax they, haven of a state. It's bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Like they had to do it, that to make it interesting. Like yeah, there's there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing really fun there to do. No, and they've got smells, nice beaches. It's there's beaches in Delaware. No one's brought me to these. Uh, it, it smells ha, ha, a yes. lot like um like manure because there's lots of like farms mm. and like mushroom okay. farms and stuff <clears throat> so in the morning kind of smells a little little weird okay oh delaware right. in the All morning right. i've never been uh, uh <laughs> mr gersman i'm gonna ask you to pick two voicemails wow okay um oh. this is nepotism. let's see i'm gonna say um <laughs> gosh how about crowns.mp3 Rounds.mp3. Hey, John Baum. This is John from Oklahoma City. Uh, I got a question slash problem with uh, something my wife does. And so she pronounces the word crayon crown. No. And it doesn't make, it's never made any sense to me. And it wouldn't be no. that big of a deal. But now she's indoctrinated my young children. No. To oh, call God. crayons crowns, to pronounce oh, it no. crowns, and I need to know, but I'm right, right? Like, it's not called, they're not called crowns, they're called crayons. Like, yeah, I no, know that I'm not. right, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. The, my and my kids shouldn't be calling them crowns, right? Like, they should use, like, like the real, the word for it. Um, get, help me with that. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. They're, cra they're crayons. Put this. They're crayons. Thank you, caller. Put Thank this you. put this program in front of her, and we can tell her. Sorry, it's pronounced crayon. Yeah. No. Like, sorry, it's, it's, it's crayons. Crayons. No. Crayons. No. 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 no, no. <laughs> crayons. Like, I, I realize the spirit of the dump truck is not to be this like you know caller advice show. It's the ultimate argument settler. <laughs> in in yeah. this in this very specific instance, yeah, like absolutely, like, we must intervene. It is not. Look, I am. I realize I am someone who says things in a way people do not like. I am. <laughs> I am been there. Uh, okay, but mm -hmm. cr it's crayon. Like yeah. you're gonna. That, those kids are gonna go to school. They're gonna say, "Can I have some whatever the fuck that word was?" I can't even re uh, repeat it. I don't even know if my mouth can do it. That's not gonna go over well in school. Yeah. Stop this problem now before it becomes a bad habit. That's what I. They have to might say. get made fun of for calling them crowns. Mm. Could you imagine? I just wonder what region his wife is from. Like, yeah. In, like, what, yeah. what, where's this accent regional to crown? I feel like there's some BuzzFeed, you know, quiz you could take to mm. determine where that's from or something. Yeah. But, yeah. It's not like a soda and a pop thing. Right? No, it's, it's a like, full mispronunciation. It's a full on different word. It's yeah. an accent, it's a regional it's dialect. Yeah, but I feel like you would have heard this by now. But my one of my in laws calls it instead of washing, it's wash. Yeah, I've yep. heard that. I well, have I no, have relatives no that R. say wash. 
for sure. There's no, yeah. there's like no the R in that the word. Like the turlet? The turlet? Mm, <laughs> like, they don't say the turlet. Yeah. I've also noticed that certain names get like slurred into one syllable that isn't normally a one syllable name. Like Daryl will be Durl. 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 Yeah, okay. And it's yeah. like, and I'll DJ be like, Durl. Durl? Yeah, Durl? You mean Daryl? Okay. It's crazy. Okay. Jeff, your right, second. Hit a second one. Yes, sir. Uh, it's crazy. PP arm. PP arm. Uh, Jeff, you missed it last week. Someone was talking about some PP tech. They noticed where instead of Pulling the shorts down, they'll just pull a short leg up, and I'm oh sure you God. can infer uh, the rest of that experience. I've done it. PP arm. You've done it. I got really excited yeah. when I heard your voice, Jan. I was like, no way. Anyways, uh, this is a weird pee story. Um, since we were talking about weird pee stuff on the last one, well, not, I wasn't involved. But um, So one time I was on my way to see this chick that I'd been talking to, and it was kind of a long drive, All and I had to pee, and I didn't want to stop, so I uh, I had a, a random, like, Route 44 Sonic cup in my car. National Rocky, by the way. Just realized I didn't introduce myself. So I grabbed the cup, and I went to pee in it while I was driving. So, what? so I'm peeing in the cup, I'm going down the highway, and I, like an idiot, reached, rolled down my window, and went to throw the cup out the window, or pour it out. But I didn't, like, slow down my car at all. So all the pee just blew back on me and down my arm. And then I just had a pee-soaked arm, and I was on my way to a date. And I had nothing in the car to help me with my pee-soaked arm, except for a Bible that was on the no. floorboard of the passenger now, seat. Now, so I, don't I reached down and started ripping pages out of this Bible and rubbing my forearm down. Yeah. And then when I got to her place, I just uh, went inside real quick. I was like, oh, I gotta use the bathroom and wash my arm really well, and then Piss continued off. on with the date. Yeah. Yeah. So, lies. So. Lies. Mind all right. Cool. Hope y'all are doing good. Bye. You, you lost me at the Bible part. Mondo yeah. Well, obviously that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I did. No, what? because nobody has a fucking Bible, a Bible on their Bible dish. In their Bible in Anyone the that keeps a Bible in their car is probably not going to want to rip pages out of it. Yeah. What if they were a rev out it to be like, ooh. No, what if they were they're... disenchanted oh. priests? What if they were borrowing Even the car priest... and it was like someone else's Bible? No way. <laughs> Even cops don't have Bibles in their uh, cars, okay? If this, someone has crazy. a Bible in their car or any other call religious in. text, please call in. Absolutely, I gotta hear. And, about and this. would you use it to clean up a pee mess if one arose? And just think in your head, I'll <laughs> like replace the, the Bible later. Or would that be like <laughs> something? Like, again, I feel like if you're if you're at a point where you're keeping a Bible in your car, you care enough about the Bible to not wipe piss all over it. Yeah. Or you're a Bible salesperson. Oh, and in which yeah. case, fucking burn. You know, whatever. Yeah. Who yeah, cares? Yeah. You got a billion burn Bibles. Stock. Yeah, you know, like this is you're disposable. cutting holes in the Bibles and keeping weed in them and stuff. You you got <laughs> Bibles everywhere. Then like it's all you know. Hey, like um, I I just feel. Like I also don't think it would it would be absorptive at, at all. You know how flimsy that paper is in Bibles. Yeah, it's just yeah. like you just be spreading paper, it around. Like, yeah, you yeah. just be wiping it everywhere. I don't think I don't buy it. I, I got lost good, right there. That's the second. It's a fun story. Like, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed listening to it, and I think it's funny. And it was also equally funny to visualize as like a bit in a movie. Mm -hmm. But that shit didn't happen. Yeah, that's like a yeah. scene in like a gross-out comedy. Something yeah. about Mary, forty-year-old well, virgin, like one of those style comedies. I've done most of those things, but not the, not the. It, it got all over my arm. Like I, I am. I was more careful than that. Sometimes you the mean, commute would would go bad. Sometimes there'd be a lot of traffic. So like when I was driving to San Francisco, that's 40 miles door to door. And sometimes that would yeah. take, um, sometimes that would take like 50 minutes. Sometimes it would take a little over two hours and you never knew Holy until shit. you got out there what the fuck was going on. But I also, that was where I had my morning energy drink is hop in the car, crack mm. open a rock star and start driving. And, yes. uh, a couple of times it got dire enough that I, this was in San Francisco, like close to the finish line, but it got so dire that I'm like, mm. one time I pulled the co car over hastily. Like I drove off my normal route to some, I was like looking for an alley and then ran and peed on a garbage can, which people fully saw me do. And I was like, well, the alternative is way worse. And the other time I pulled over and had a, I had stopped at McDonald's that morning. So I had a big old drink cup and I pulled over and, 
filled up this drink cup and then had to figure out what to to do with it. That time I did not pour it out the window. That time I took it and disposed of it in a garbage can. Um, commuting I, uh, is a fucking nightmare. One time in college, uh, we went to see a shitty movie that I did not care about, but it's like, hey, all my friends are going, I'll go too. And we had a bunch of time to kill before the movie started, so it's like, hey, we'll go fuck around in like party cities nearby, and you know, just, you know, classic just, place to spend time, party yeah, city. You know, just goof off yeah. in party city for a while, yada yada. So steal a helium big, tank. Like, <laughs> it's this big like like parking lot for like this big you know complex that has the movie theater the party city all this stuff they also had a area with a big dumpster for some reason my punk rock friend dan punk rock dan punk rock dan shame on you you know dives in the dumpster of course because punks are drawn to do such things and he finds a big what are those two liter things of soda filled with a mystery fluid I'll give oh, you one no. guess what the mystery fluid was, but it was like very dark piss oh, fuck. and foamy looking piss. Oh, fuck. Yeah. What are we doing? And we were like, what? Hmm. Put that fucking huh. thing down. Dan, what are you doing? And he just thought it was funny that he found some vintage piss in here. Um, but like he he took it out and we were, and he was just like kicking it around the <laughs> parking lot. And we were like, Dan. You know how this ends. Like, why are you doing this? It's that's super duper piss. And he's like, it's not piss. It's it's definitely not. It doesn't look like piss. You're stupid. And he kicks it around, of course, kicks it around enough that it explodes. Yeah. It was fermented piss can rotten do that. piss. I don't piss know. Can, man. Like, piss can explode. All right. Uh Jessica, uh back lower, we're gonna keep it for now. Enough. You could you could do like if you want to get back at somebody, you take a glass jar. And you fill it full of like piss and like chicken guts and you seal it up and you put it in the trunk of their car and then on a hot day uh that's gonna get hot enough that eventually the gas in there is gonna explode and then you got then their car is fucked that's all right i like guess uh you, you you get to thank pick you for two... calling the advice hotline you, you get to <laughs> you get to also pick two voicemails jesus christ never get fuck? on your bad side uh perp that mp3 presuming it's about my hair move our for, for front our purple move our front purple piece to the left one oh, nice Thank you, caller uh this nice. person nice, is nice, nice. calling Thank in you, about caller. the chinese, chinese checkers, checkers game on UPS. oh okay that cool, was sick cool. you gotta listen that, that is a that unique guy, way yeah. to uh uh i guess convey your directions maybe we'll open up the voicemail <laughs> dump truck live <laughs> Uh, or <laughs> Chinese checker. Moves. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. You can only make one um, call. Jess, your second pick. Uh, why do I have this? Hey, y'all. Daniel from Bowling Green, Kentucky here. Uh, I was, watch was watching the last dump truck and uh, looking at Jeff Pacular's NWO shirt. Uh, it kind of reminded me of uh, going through my wardrobe lately and looking at all the t-shirts I have from back when I was like a late teen college uh, dude and some of them I'm looking at them now I'm like why the hell do I still have these these are kind of embarrassing uh, not saying yours is embarrassing Jeff but it just kind of let me down the road so wanted to ask y'all do you have any embarrassing t-shirts paint tops hot pants, anything that are still in your wardrobes to this day that you just look at and be like, why the hell do I still have this? Thanks. Bye. Uh, thank you, caller. Thank you, caller. I have one where uh, I'm, a, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, you know, uh, uh, there's some extra Jan on, on me. But when I used to teach at a musical what? theater school, um, there was also a huge, they are primarily like a ballet company. You you taught at a musical theater? Wait, 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 wait. And for what? Christmas one year, they got the staff uh, custom shirts that said teacher, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and majority of the staff were, were female ballet dancers. And they were all very form-fitting. And they wanted to take a group picture with um, all everyone in staff wearing photos. And then I put my shirt on, and it was skin tight, and all my extra jam was just hanging out all over the place. Still have that shirt, even though I don't think it will ever fit. Uh, nice, because it says Teacher Jan. I was like, mm, gotta do it for these kids. Teacher Jan. I, 
embarrassing clothing like that to me is the barometer for what i donate like i go through my closet mm -hmm. twice a year or so yeah. And if I come across a t-shirt that is just not me anymore, it goes right in the pile for donations. That's my, it. Uh, my mom's going through stuff back home in Staten Island, uh, getting ready to move and stuff. So, like, do you want this? I still have this. That sort of, like, process is happening now. Uh, and she found a, and I tweeted about this, she was like, do you want this little felt man? This doll? And I was like, what can you just describe this little felt man please and she was like he's got crazy hair red jacket and i was like is he an anime man she's like i don't know and i was like send a picture and it was vash the stampede <laughs> from trigun so i was like that wow is fun hair. he's an anime i man. have i have this apparently and she's also going through some like old costumey stuff and she was like yo Oh, we got like some gas masks in here. Is that cool? And I was like, yeah, don't throw away a perfectly fine gas mask. Those are kind of weird and rare. And she was like, well, I have to ask this. Do you want this whip? I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's from a costume. I was like, yes, it was. And no, I don't need what? No, why, a whip? why would I say, why would I say yes to this question that my mother like posed a, to like me? A yeah, like a whoosh. It was like, a, like a, if, you, heart, if you're room, keeping room. A, a gas mask, then you then keep a whip. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, use them they, both and totally. This is my Elden Ring build. Uh, yeah, but uh, it, it's just like the uh, the shitty like Indiana Jones style, you know, Party City ass whip. It's yeah. not like a real whip. But you in Party City like, today, huh? I don't know. Party City's fun. Not anymore though. I went to one last week and I was like, this is depressing. <laughs> That's Nothing a lot of stories there. lately. Yeah. Yeah. It's really bad. <sighs> Mr. Gersman, I know you moved recently, but is there anything as in the process of moving, you were like, why do I have this? Uh, I got rid of a lot of shirts and a lot of clothes and stuff over the last um, year. Cause you know, there was a lot of stuff that I packed up and got rid of mm. as a part of moving. And then on the other end of like unpacking, there was another round of just like, okay, I can, I can totally get rid of this stuff. I don't, I don't need it. So, I don't know, I got rid of a lot, but then I kept a lot. There was just like, you know, all these FUBU jerseys. <laughs> oh, Jeff, they're back now. FUBU is back. Yeah, no, I, I know. Uh, so I could break <laughs> all that stuff out and, and really kill it. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I did get rid of, I I can't remember if I got rid of it or not. I had like the terry cloth fucking rock aware uh, short set that was Ooh. just like uh, like a short sleeve shorts white white shorts orange rock aware oh my god nice oh i should this is this is the perfect weather for this too for like that <laughs> type of all white gear so i i'm gonna see if i still have that fucking drag that out. i got this fucking i got this bucket out i got this fucking kangle might as well might as really well fully embrace it. all this shit. Yeah. Do it. No, I got, I got rid of a bunch of trash and I kept all the video game shit and a lot of it got uh, donated. Um, mm. And a lot of it is, is I still have to donate a large part of some of, some of that memorabilia and some of that other stuff, magazines and whatnot to, to move it on. Uh, I'm going to give up my second pick and Mr. Backler, I'm going to give you three picks. Oh, Whoa, fuck. Birthday, I'm going to give you time boy. because it's your birthday. I'm gonna give you time Shit. to think about it, and I'm gonna choose. Right. Uh, uh, I'm going to choose. God, which one? Uh, let's choose Lil B. Need to put some respect on Lil B's day, ho. Also, love you guys. Love you too, caller. Thank, Thank you. Call. Thank you, caller. Give me, yeah. uh, give me, come with fish. <laughs> you asked for Whoa. it. Oh, okay, buddy. Uh, when I heard this voicemail, I had to check when it came in because I thought it was an actual emergency at first. Oh my god. 3 a.m. folks, I need help, I need help, I need to know right now. If I order a meat mountain at Arby's, is it going to come with fish? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly, like, this is totally the energy that I was expecting, and I am so glad we I, went and did that. I don't think so. I don't know yeah. that is the answer to that. I would Does hope not. Arby serve fish at all? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, the new thing, of course. Yeah. Uh, amazing. <laughs> um, ew, that would be. You can't mix that. Don't even. Ugh, now, I don't now think I, got, I would like. Hope I would do imagining it. Imagining a pile of fucking roast beef and then just like 
flounder fucking just like yeah no, baby no 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 mm -hmm. uh give me got stuck yeah g'day carby it's eli calling from melbourne you guys mm. were telling a story about bowling before and you reminded me of when i was younger my older brother dared me to stick my finger into the bowling ball as deep as i could go and it got stuck and then that reminded me of the time when my older brother dared me to put my head in the mailbox and it got stuck Anyway, have a good one. <laughs> Thank you, caller. At Fine. first, I thought their accent wasn't real, but their uh, phone number was yeah. international. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. consistent. No. Uh, Mr. Bacalar, save your third one. I'm going to actually make a second pick because I remember this one needed to get played. Okay. Hi, Dumpers. Uh, this is Josh from Burbank. When my brother was seven or eight years old, he threw up chocolate milk, and he is 30 now and has not had it to drink since he's listening yeah. to this podcast and he's getting married next month and i just wanted to share with him and the dump crew and the world that matt it's okay to drink chocolate milk again you're you're probably you're probably going to be fine thank you very much for your time thank you caller thank you caller congratulations he's got a puke. maybe uh, not congratulations not. matt is what we said his brother uh, yeah it's okay, Congrats. but it's also okay to drink chocolate milk. I don't, like, chocolate milk to me doesn't, unless you got rotten-ass milk, and then that's probably going to take you off milk altogether, mm. right? Mm. Like, uh, right? Or, or for, for an extended period of time. I don't sure. know about your entire life, like it happened to Matt here. Mm. But, man, I don't, like, it's good. Chocolate milk's chocolate good. Chocolate milk's great. Delicious. I have chocolate milk, like, every day. Really? Yeah. Wow. Big okay. into chocolate milk. That's, Okay. Yeah. I I think it's I good. knew this. I think I knew this. <laughs> I you would, always drink so I chocolate milk. I don't drink milk anymore really, but can you I'm assuming like adding it to almond milk's probably good too. Yeah. yeah. You could do that. You can do it. Yeah. You sell yeah. almond chocolate milk. Yeah, if you so, want it pre made, good. they'll do that too. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. I um so I my dad and I used to go shoot guns out of an outdoor range. You know, you go out and mm -hmm drive out into the middle of nowhere some farm where they've just set a bunch of hay bales for you to shoot at for twelve dollars a day or whatever um and there was a 7-eleven uh at the edge of town before we got out towards the heading towards the gun range sort of thing and uh i would you know i didn't go with them all the time but what i you know i would get some chocolate donuts or you know just like some other garbage ass food at like 8 a.m because i was like uh, maybe 12 or something 11 you know i was young um and one time I got a thing of chocolate donuts and a chocolate milk and immediately pounded all of those things. And then like five minutes after we got back on the road, I threw up out of the window of the car. And oh, that was a situation, yeah. unlike, you know, somewhat like our piss friend, um, where a lot of the, some of that puke came back in the car and and got on me. Um, that me. was unpleasant. That was unpleasant. Yes. Go ahead. You, Jeff Ackler, you have a question? I just feel like you've got a good amount of these very specific stories where you are attempting to ingest violent amounts of food and it's just it was, not it was like a, you know out. it was like a carton of chocolate milk now it's not like some gallon it was like and it was like the little pack of like x you know like yeah, that seven seem like a too unreasonable right. chocolate amount. donuts okay. like it yeah, wasn't don't Donuts are donuts, dense also, though. Yeah, yeah they, are, are like, they are. They are. Waxy okay. and dense. It's a nightmare. Waxy-ass dense, dense balls. You're talking about the like the, the size of like a loaf of bread, that box, right? No, 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 no. This is like, donuts uh, are like, sleeve? you know, Just like a sleeve? silver dollar, like a bigger silver than a silver dollar. Yeah, there's like eight or seven of them okay. in a package, something like this that. Is, this is not okay, an illegal maybe... amount of food. Got it. This is a poor, yeah. a poor example. I, well, you did do like the twelve donuts. It's that true. Time. Yes, I did eat an entire dozen of Krispy Kreme donuts in a car, <laughs> and then get in a car, Sounds and then that would right throw now. Up? You threw up. I, no, no, I did not. I did not. I felt like I was going to, but yeah, no. And I drank a bunch of chocolate milk then too, and that was yeah. But like that was when the Krispy Kreme first opened in the Bay. It was the first one. We drove all the way to Union sure. City to get it. I mean, it's reasonable. No um, one wants to go to Union City. No one. No one. No. There's nothing there. <laughs> I'm just. It is just I had to go to pick up movies when we were distributing film canisters across a local theater chain. I had to go to Union City every fucking week. Let me tell you, we would stop at like the Taco Bell there, and there was. 
I, my friend who would come, he was, he was the mastermind behind the film run. And then I just was the driver. And then we split the money down the middle. Um, there was a, a woman who was, was in that Taco Bell every single week. And she just referred to my friend as, I believe it was Milton. It's like, hi, Milton. Hi, Milton. Hello, Milton. And he would just go like, Hey, and it was just like just <laughs> constantly weird experience. Union City. Did she a, work at the Taco Bell. You know, she was mopping up, but I don't. I can't say that she was necessarily an employee. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to like count the number of times that I've vomited via like excess. Mm -hmm. Today could be the day. Yeah. No. 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 Happy birthday. And you're saying you're you're excluding alcohol from this? You're saying just yeah, food and, access? And only, yeah, that's a different I mean, I've probably puked like 10 times from booze. Yeah. You know. Um, Pretty good ratio. But like I remember being in Italy in 2016 and my wife and I just like we ate so much at a dinner because we just couldn't like help ourselves. It was everything was just too good. We ate so much that we like had other plans, but had to cancel them because we literally <laughs> rolled back to our hotel. And then later on that night, I proceeded to throw up just because See, of like, it's so much food. See, I thought you were going to say you did the other thing and said, no, we went back to the hotel. We threw up on purpose and then we went out and enjoyed our evening. <laughs> like, you know, it was something no, no. truly unhinged. I was like, yes. Yeah. That to is the vomitorium. Behavior. When in <laughs> yeah, Rome. That is some fucked up behavior for sure. Oh, All right, Backlar, last pick. Yeah, it's gonna be the last voicemail of the episode. Oh fuck! Well, make it so I feel bad. Like I, I th you, you'll just so we know, someone left an HBD.MP3. I will listen to that off air. I'm sure that's a happy birthday. So thank you to whoever put that. I don't want to selfishly take that away from. No, it's not a happy birthday. I don't know. I'm just creating some mystique. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Don't zig when I'm zagging, man. What? All right. Uh, well, I'll listen to that either way off air. Happy. Let's do uh, biggest change. Biggest change. Oh, okay. All right. This. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Giant Bomb Crew? This is Brian, formerly of New York City. I'm calling to you from somewhere on Route 80 in Pennsylvania. As I'm driving to my new home. I've lived in New York wow. City for more than 20 years. I grew up in Seattle. And now I'm moving to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Not really sure. I guess I know why. I wanted to change. But I'm a little nervous about it. We'll see if it works out. I might take up hockey. That seems pretty cool. But anyway, what's the biggest thing you've ever done in your life? The biggest life change you've ever made? Oh, wow. Take care, guys. Good luck. Good luck, move. buddy. Yeah, good luck. A lot, yeah, a lot of a, people are moving out of New York it's City. city. It's just, it's so, um, so expensive now. Mm -hmm. Um, the biggest, I guess, having a child. I know that's very cliche, but like that is the largest, most life changing thing that uh, I've had a part in deciding in. That was a big deal, and. I'm still dealing with the side effects of that mm -hmm. one. <laughs> sure. No, definitely for the best. Me has, uh, you know, been great. Um, but yeah, that's, yeah, that's probably mine. I was going to say that or getting married. Like that's probably the, the, the big ones moving down here was a, a, a big deal. Cause you know, like I lived in the Bay, you know, my entire life. Um, but it hasn't really actually been that different. And maybe that's cause you know, you move during a pandemic and, it's right. just like trading one indoor area for another, but, mm. but yeah. Jess? Um, moving to the Midwest to be with my partner. Now I've been here way too long, and it's uh, <laughs> been very depressing, and I'm not happy oh out here. <laughs> it's been a big change. What about we send you a postcard from a metropolitan city? <laughs> Or something. Yeah, you want me to send you a bagel? What's up? My my yeah, send me bagels. Shit, <laughs> I'll open a PO box just for bagels. Yeah. Chicago was on the list, to, or like a suburb of Chicago was on the list of like places. I when when we decided, okay, it's time to get the fuck out of here. 
Like mm-hmm. that was on my short list. The weather, I think, I think would have been a deal breaker. Yeah, the um, weather, well, the weather sucks. was a deal breaker. But but um, the weather sucks over here, especially well, like you were coming from Chicago New York, where the, the snow exists the of, and I, the lake effect yeah. is crazy in Chicago. Though it's like constantly, it's the windy city. It, it uh, doesn't, you know, it's it's Chicago's sucks, awesome weather-wise. though. Uh, it's so I sick. I haven't been thrilled by it. I haven't yet. been there in a long time, but like every time I went, it always seemed like a cool ass city. Cause it's not New York. It's not fucking LA. Yes. Like it's, it's got its own thing for yeah. sure. Um, and you know, yeah. I know people who live in the area. So it was just like this. Oh yeah. That'd be, that, that seems like that'd be a, a good fit. But like, yeah, it was like, it was like that. And then it was like outside Las Vegas. Cause it was like, you could get so much house for so little money. Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, it's you just, could, but yeah, like you could, hot you could buy Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah I, like, I, yeah, I could, you know, just never leave the house. And, but like then, I don't know. It's it's pretty fucking hot here. It's been ninety this week, so um, <laughs> oh, fuck. but ninety ain't one hundred and ten, right? So no, yeah, so and it's whatever. a dry heat, right? It's uh, a dry heat. Yeah, the, yeah. The number of fucking bloody noses I get from how fucking dry it is here. It was a testament to just how dry it is here, even. But uh, yeah, you know, it's crazy moving places. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Turns out. Yeah. What about you, Jan? Yeah. What, what's your crazy shit? Uh, probably just like ending a long relationship that was just bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think that's sure. the biggest sure. change. Um, there was a huge period of my life where uh, I stopped wearing jeans and I exclusively wore slacks, and then going <laughs> back to wearing jeans, yeah, Dickies, yeah. uh, uh, Dockers, and all that jazz. Uh, but switching back to jeans was huge for me. People had associated with me for a while with like green slacks. Dude, that like, was me too. Yeah, I did that in college. Boy, me old. Oh, he's coming for back. Oh, for me, it was shorts Boy, to jeans old. and then back to shorts. Boy, me old. You n- you don't wear jeans at all. No, I'm, I'm I was I was shorts year round, and then I was like, I want to look like a normal looking human being for a little bit, and I wore jeans, and then I got married, and then it's all back, back to shorts, baby. But like, <laughs> there's situations where you're wearing pants. Um, sure, yeah. I mean, like, if there was like a like a dress dressy kind of thing, like, I, you know, I'm not like morally opposed to wearing pants, except that I am, but like. No, like when I was living up there and it would get to 60 degrees and raining and all that shit, I was still wearing shorts. You just wear layers up top. Like that's the uniform up there. NorCal. Really? Like it's just, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just sensitive about my calves. For sure. Yeah. All right. I've just turned into like, like not disgust. I just enjoy sweatpants a lot now. And I just, mm-hmm. but it's I'm like not you leave like the, the fucking house, right? It's like you know. No, well, yeah. I mean, no. I go. We we go out a good amount now, yeah. and and I've gotten. I've trying. I'm trying to find like the like. I feel like I have enough pants that are like okay to wear outside, where like they're almost like jeans. Like they they they're like slim fitty sweatpants. They're not. They're you know what I'm talking about. They're just like a little. Mm-hmm. They're not real like uh, cruddy. What's the word I'm looking for? Like slop, Still look, you know, like, yeah, yeah. They're not like yeah, loose, torn, tattered. Yeah, like yeah. They're no, they're like definitely your... like the 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 classy sweats that you can wear places. Market has been booming. Oh yes. yeah, especially especially Hell over the yeah. last couple of years. Mm-hmm. So I'm a big fan of those for sure. Yeah. Pants. Pants. You know? I ain't, I ain't bought shoes in three years. Oh. Oh yeah. I mean, oh, I, I barely even wear shoes anymore. It's crazy. Anyway, I guess we got to wrap it up here. Well, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. So. All That's the longer than normal. Dumped. Yeah. yeah. 707 exit flu is the phone number for you to dial if you want to leave a voicemail for us. And then uh, next week we'll hear it and do something with it. Uh, I feel like we should just have like a bonus episode where you just play out all the voicemails with no responses or something. It's like I, the actual flush. It would. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought about doing that during the pre-show, but then I realized some folks have like the pre-show music playing in like their living rooms and stuff. They probably yeah. don't need people talking about methods of well, vomiting and, and peeing. And Jan, saying, they'll yeah. learn. They will yeah. learn. Sure. Exactly. Okay. Sure. There was someone that got written up because they had the giant bomb cast out and we they had to Google what a trap house was 
They got written up <laughs> because. And what they did we do for that person? Ah, uh, we, we got them we written the, up. We wrote them a note. We wrote them a note. Okay. All right. And we got them out of detention. Is what we did. It was at their job. Also, uh, yeah. open offer. I said this last week. If you need a letter of rec for whatever university you're applying to or job, I'm surprised you didn't. Uh, you didn't play that one. Uh, they just asked if it was open to jobs. Sure, sure. I'll just have a template and I'll just send that around. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, yep. Yeah. We've got a notary seal. We'll we'll slap on there too. <laughs> I'm sure it's approval. not a real yep, one, but know. it'll it'll be fine. No, it just it just dents the paper. It just cuts yeah. it. All right, we'll be back next week. Happy birthday, Jeff Bagalar! Thank you so Yay. much, everyone. Appreciate Where's it. Where's the confetti, Jan? Oh, okay.